Hello everyone, I'm Julia from Vicolinko.com. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm really excited to share a family recipe with you for Russian blini. Russian blini are not what you might think they are. They're not those thick round pancakes topped with smoked salmon you see at parties. Quite different actually. They're large, thin and lacy grapes. Very similar to French grapes actually, just a little bit thicker. Blini have been made in Russia for centuries and even to this day they are an absolute staple. They could be eaten for breakfast or even for a quick snack. What is so special about Russian blini is that they could be enjoyed with sweet and savory toppings and the toppings are numerous. They are actually really easy to make and my recipe is a little bit different from a lot of recipes because my mom always used kefir. Um, you can replace it with buttermilk, but that's the secret ingredient that gives blini that lacy, delicate texture. But enough talking, let's get to the recipe. Get a large bowl and whisk together the eggs and one third of the buttermilk. Now add the flour, baking soda, sugar and salt. Give it a really good mix, then add one third of buttermilk in gradually and keep mixing. You want to make sure there are no lumps. When it is all smooth, add the rest of the buttermilk. Let the mixture stand for about 20 minutes until you see small bubbles forming on the surface of the batter. Heat up a non-stick frying pan over medium heat and add some oil as evenly as you can. Pour in approximately a half cup of batter so the batter runs up to the edges. Let it cook until bubbles form on the top and the surface looks dry. Then flip with a spatula, let it cook for another minute. Stack up the blini on a plate, brushing them with butter with each addition. As I mentioned earlier, blini are enjoyed with both sweet and savory toppings. And although everyone knows of blini and a caviar combination, the most common way of eating blini in Russia are with sweet toppings like preserved fruit, um, sour cream, and whipped cream and fresh fruit, and honey. If you want to try a savory version, you can absolutely top them with smoked salmon or caviar. They are often wrapped like a burrito and filled with things like chicken, mushrooms, cheese, anything goes. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to our channel and we would be happy to share more with you.